today we're doing a poetry kit page three and um, a lot of you are doing this on Google Classroom and we'll be using this slideshow which is what I'm referencing for the most part in this video but for those of you who are in your packets and working on the worksheet you can use this video as well because it's the exact same questions and what I say will help you as you're working on your worksheet all right so let's look at number eight and this is from the last few lines of the poem and I'll read the part to you in just a minute Number eight points out that the poet says that language and life are a dance. Why does she most likely use this metaphor? Well, remember in the last video I had given an example of a simile. Simile compares two things using like or as. So I'm hungry like a lion. Well, that's a simile because I'm not a lion, but my hunger is like a lion. I could turn that into a metaphor. I could say I am am a hungry lion well i'm still comparing myself my hunger to a lion but this time i didn't use like or as i said i am a hungry lion and that's the difference between a simile and a metaphor so in the poem at the end she says remember the dance languages okay well language is not literally a dance so this is a metaphor that life is well life is not literally a dance either so this is a metaphor so the next step in analyzing a metaphor is thinking about, well, what do these things have in common to figure out what point the person is trying to make? So when I think of dancing, I'm thinking obviously of movement, of flow. Um, it's enjoyable. It is a way of communicating, especially in certain cultures, but we also communicate with each other when we dance. It's a way of interacting with each other. Um, so now let's think about language. Well, which of those characteristics does language also have? Well, language flows like my words are flowing. Um, and it's certainly a way of communicating and interacting with each other. So that is kind of a, a good metaphor, right? Cause they do share some things in common. And then the same thing with life. Well, what aspects of dancing does life also have? Well, it flows too. Our lifespan continues without stopping, flowing from one thing to the next. Um, it certainly can be very enjoyable. And um, we interact with each other and communicate with each other through our lives. So thinking about those characteristics and how they are shared between those three things, we can see why she called language a dance and why she called life a dance. So when answering this question, think about those things that the three share and then just type your answer in here. All right, number nine. What is the main idea of the poem? Support your answer with details from the poem. So in order to get this right, you are gonna have to support your answer with details from the poem, examples straight from the poem that prove that whatever you put in here as your main idea is what the poem is trying to get across to everybody. Uh, we might also call this a theme in literature. Um, and since poetry is technically a form of literature, I would personally have asked this question as what is the theme of the poem? So what point is the poet trying to make to all of us? Well, it's called remember. So she wants us to remember something. What does she want us to remember? What does she want us to not forget? So that's going to help you when you make your way to figuring out what the theme or main idea of this poem is. And then pulling examples from the text, examples of things that um, will show what she doesn't want us to forget. All right, number 10. How does poet Joy Harjo most likely feel about family and nature based on her writing? So throughout all of this poem, she referenced family and histories and things in nature. How do you think she feels about family and nature? And then the last thing today is this writing prompt. There's two possible writing prompts. You can pick one and then type your answer down here in the space below. The two prompts that we can choose from are what do the story, There Were Giants, and the poem that we read this week 
say about the role of our families in our lives? Are the messages similar or different in these works? Um, remember, There Were Giants was about the girl Marie. She was taking care of her grandfather in the beginning of the poem. She wasn't thrilled about it. But by the end of the poem, she realized that she was supposed to be there to help take care of her grandfather. He needed her. She also gained an appreciation for her family and their traditions and their histories. At the beginning of the story, when her grandfather would tell her the legend, she was like, oh, I don't want to hear this. I'm too old for this. But by the end of the story, she's telling her grandfather the legend to help calm him and to keep him from worrying and distract him from the situation he was in. So she learned a lot in that poem about family and the value of traditions within a family. So that's a good prompt. I, that's the one I would choose. I like that prompt. All right, the other one is, what do you think Marie would think about the poem Remember at the beginning of There Were Giants? So if she had heard this poem at the beginning of that story, what would she think about it? What might she think about this poem if it were said to her at the end of the story, though? Because she changed. So the way she would feel about this poem at the beginning of her story is going to be different than how she would feel at the end because she realized things. Don't forget to include why. Use details from the story and the poem in your answer. So um, what you need to do is choose one of the two prompts and answer it in a well-organized paragraph. It says on the back of this page, but you can't do that on Google Classroom, so you have a space here. For those of you who are doing it in the packet, you also don't really have room because you have remember the quiz on the back. So you could just do it on a separate piece of paper and staple it. That'll probably work better than trying to squeeze it into that tiny little space. All right.